What is good, YouTube? Adam over here, aka Valuebless, coming to you with a sales video. In this video, I will show you what sold for me on eBay and Etsy in the last week, seven days. Uh, total items I sold in a week was 36, 31 items on eBay and five items on Etsy. I will show you each item and tell you how much I paid for it and you will see how much it sold for. This way you can learn what to pick up from thrift stores, garage sales, and flea markets to resell on online. Uh, so let's get the show going and start with the first item. Uh, here we, we switch this. So here we go. First item here, it's a pair of vintage maracas. I got these uh, about a year ago at a estate sale in a box lot, so th this didn't cost me anything, maybe a dollar. I had these listed on Etsy for uh, two sessions so for eight months four months and then again four months and they didn't sell on etsy so i put them on ebay and on ebay they sold within a month uh, so i got 25 bucks for these plus shipping so i was happy to see them go next year it's a men's polo ralph lauren pink casual shirt big size 3xb and f uh, to my surprise I'd, i had this listed for also about a year uh Maybe because the color and maybe in the photos it was wrinkled, maybe that's why it didn't sell quicker. But again, it sold for $18, and I'm happy to see it go. Next year, it's a men's North Face uh, black fleece uh, vest. These uh, no North Face fleece tops, vest, or even uh, full zip jackets, they are bread and butter for me. I picked it up at a thrift store for about 6 bucks sold for $32, uh, and this was listed maybe two weeks online. Here we have men's field and streams, flea stop. This was a flop for me. Um, I had this listed for about six months, uh, and I, I paid up for it in a thrift store. I think I paid like 12 bucks for this. So I sold it for 19 Didn't make much money on it. But I was happy to see it go. I will not be picking up field and streams flea stops again. Uh, maybe if they have some more colors and some patches on the elbows, that would might be a better sale, and you can ask for more money. Here we have a cycling jersey. Uh, this sold quickly. Uh, I had it online for about two weeks. I think I paid around ten dollars or nine dollars for this. Sold for thirty. Three dollars plus shipping. Uh, this was new with tax. Great brand, Louis Garneau. Uh, it's a French name. I'm not sure if I'm uh, pronouncing it right. Uh, but this sold quickly and for thirty dollars, so it was nice flip. Here we have men's Lululemon yellow running shorts. Uh, I got these at a thrift store for five dollars. They sold for thirty-five ninety-nine plus shipping. I had these listed maybe for a month. Uh, these were a little bit older Lululemon. You can see here on this picture, there was some wear. So they were in perfect condition, but still nice flip. I made about 30 bucks on these. Here we have women's Pendleton snap button shirt. Uh, Pendleton here is the brand, I show you the logo. Great brand. These shirts for, sell well for men's shirts. Uh, so women's shirts, they tend to don't sell as much quicker and you don't get as much money for them. Men's shirts, you can get $50. Uh, this one, I think, was the best offer. I got $30 for this, best offer plus shipping. This went to Australia. Um I paid six seventy five for this in the thrift store and had it listed maybe for three to two to three weeks. Next year it's a G unit sweatshirt um hip hop brand G unit clothing. I got it at a thrift store for about eight dollars. Um I don't remember now if there was a best, I think it was a best offer of $35 plus shipping. Uh, again, had this listed for about two weeks and it sold quickly. 
Um, next year is women's Columbia pants, GRT, uh, hiking packable pants. Uh, this was a small size, extra small. I picked these up for about $7 at a thrift store, and they sold for $27, so a nice $20 profit. And this, again, is Columbia pants. If you can get them cheap, these are good uh, sellers, and they are a bread and butter item. Next year is the women's North Face rain jacket. Uh, I got a best offer for this at $35. This was my wife. She didn't want it anymore, so... I just listed it online, and it sold within a week. And I'm pretty sure if I held, if I didn't accept the $35 offer, I would get the full asking price, but I didn't mind just flipping it and making room in the inventory. Next year, this is men's vintage 90 guest jacket. Um, the, the asking price was $39. I got a best offer for $20 plus 15 to ship. Um, I accepted the $20 offer. Uh, the reason I did that because this jacket, I found it at the bins, so paid by the pound. This one cost me about $3 to purchase, so $3 into 20 and make room inventory and, and just make the sale, and this was a good flip for me. Next here is uh, vinyl. This is James Last uh, vinyl, and you'd be surprised. I listed lots of vinyl on eBay. I have about 200 vinyl listed, and I listed different ones, rock and polka and country, and I listed a bunch of these James Last ones, different different uh, titles, and I have probably sold 10 James Last vinyls already. So this he's selling online, and doesn't sell quickly, but does sell. So I got 8 bucks for it. And I probably had a dollar invested in this vinyl. Next, next here is men's Lululemon full zip hoodie. Uh, this one I got at a thrift store. It was a nice jacket. I paid twenty dollars at the thrift store for this. It was size medium, and I accepted best offer of I think fifty dollars plus shipping. So this was a nice flip. Here is a hot Ford F-150 pickup. Um, I paid $4 for this hat at a thrift store, and I think I got a best offer of $12 plus shipping. I accepted, and I just uh, flipped the hat, and it was a quick sale. I, I maybe had it listed for a month. Here is another vinyl. This vinyl came from a box I got from a friend. I didn't pay anything for that box. There were some great uh, vinyl records in there, mostly from the 70s rock music, uh, 70s and 80s. So this uh, and so this sold for 20 bucks. I had this listed for about six months, uh, but vinyl does sell. You just have to hold on to it. But uh, I'm competing with lots of U.S. sellers. I'm in Canada, so in the U.S. there is lots of vinyl listed for, for free shipping or very cheap ship shipping. Like in Canada, uh, it cost me about 10 to $11 to ship vinyl uh, to the States or anywhere in Canada too. I sold for 20 bucks. Didn't cost me anything, so I, I was happy to sell it. Next year, we have a vintage uh, men's NBA Hardwood Classic Houston Rockets uh, top. It was a nice top. There was some condition issues on the tag. I think he's described as a pulled thread on the sleeve, so it wasn't perfect. That's why I priced it lower. Even with the flow, it sold quickly. It sold within two weeks, and I got an offer of $20. Uh, I think I paid $7 for this top. Next year, it's a pair of shorts, men's shorts with uh, the brand is without walls. If I think this brand is a Gaps Athletic brand. Let me show you that. This is a good brand to be on the lookout for. They had a zip pocket on the back. Let me see if I can find the brand here, the, the label. There we go. It should be here. There we go. So it's like a WM's. 
in a circle without walls. So anything you jackets from this brand or shorts, pants, be on the lookout. I listed this uh, about two weeks it sold, and I had maybe $5 invested into these shorts, and they sold for 25 plus shipping. Next here is another uh, vinyl records thing. Uh, this is a double LP. Again, came from the box I got from my friend, so it didn't cost me anything. Great sale. I think I accepted the best offer of $30 for this. Here we have women's vintage Woolrich full zip fleece. Uh, this was from a thrift store. Uh, I think I paid $7 for this. This is a very cool print of the sheep. Uh, it also had a, a made in USA vintage Woolrich. Uh, and it had a little, okay, Woolrich plate logo. Oh, here we go, this guy, tag. Uh, so I think I paid 5 to $7 for this, and I priced it high at 45 There was none online that were listed, and it sold within maybe a month and a half, so about six weeks or maybe five weeks it sold. Here we have an old vintage box camera. I had this camera f forever. I had it first listed on Etsy and it didn't sell there. I, there was lots of condition issues here. So usually collectors, they want a pristine condition cameras. So I just had it listed on eBay and I maybe had this camera for over a year, uh, but it eventually did sell for 19 bucks. I, I probably got this in a lot I once bought about 60 cameras in one shot at an auction, and probably that was part of it. So 20 bucks plus shipping, so I was happy to see that one go. Next year we have men's polo uh, Ralph Lauren uh, cargo pants. These ones I got at a thrift store for about $9. Uh, yes, polo, chino. Um, I got a best offer for this at $30 plus shipping, uh, so I accepted $30, and it was nice quick flip. I had them listed for maybe uh, two weeks. Next year, we have men's Patagonia uh, black fleece vest. Uh, great brand to be on the lookout for. This brand sells well. Um, so this one I paid maybe six dollars in the thrift store. It sold for thirty-six dollars plus shipping. So it was great flip. Uh, Patagonia, it's one of my favorite brands to be finding in the thrift stores in, in the wild, as they say. Here we have men's uh, Robert Graham shirt. These are great. Robert Graham shirts are awesome. They always have the the fancy uh, pattern and the flip flip cuffs. Um, I only was able to find two of these shirts uh, in my career. There's a second one. Um, usually they would sell for more. Like brand new, these shirts go for about $200 uh, on the used market. They they do sell for 50 60 For some reason, I cannot get as much for them. And this one, I got a best. It was on sale. I had a sale on the weekend, and I got a best offer of $30. Uh, I took it. I accepted the $30 offer. I only paid six dollars for this shirt uh, so i was happy to sell it quickly so i this moved within uh, two weeks next year we have a vintage silver tone uh calves with the horseshoes like a western style cowboy uh these i had online listed for a long time maybe for six months uh, i once i bought maybe like 15 pairs of calf calf links at an auction, I got all 15 pairs for about $10, and I'm selling each one for about $15. This one I got an offer for 10 bucks plus 10 to ship. I accepted the offer, and they sold for $10. Here we have men's English laundry, another flip calf shirt. Uh, very nice looking shirt here. Uh, cool calves. Uh, this I got an offer I think for $30. And I accepted this shirt cost me around eight dollars at a thrift store. And this has the white background, so I had this listed for longer 
but not too long, maybe under two months, I had it online and it sold. Next year, we have women's Tommy Hilfiger blue denim jean mini skirt. Um, this is not a vintage Tommy. This is just a standard, I guess, more, more modern Tommy Hilfiger tag. This skirt I got at the bins, paid by the pound, so it cost me $1. I got a best offer of 12 plus shipping. I accepted, and the customer was happy that I accepted her offer. So this was a nice quick flip from the bins. Next year, if you watch my earlier videos, you would see this in the whole video I showed you. I picked this up. So this sold within a week, the M sweatshirt. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid, but not more than ten dollars, probably eight bucks. Uh, this sold for twenty-three dollars. I had the sale going on the weekend, eleven percent up. So this sold within one week, and I probably made not too much money, but I, I doubled my money. Uh, so nice, nice flip. And this is another sweatshirt that you might might have seen in the thrift haul video I did earlier. Uh, this was from a thrift store, the Tommy Hilfiger Spellout uh, Flea Stop. This one cost me about $10 to purchase, and I had it listed $80 initially, and then I had the sale on the weekend, so somebody bought it for $71 plus shipping. Uh, this, sh this shows shipping to my location, but they paid $40 to ship, and this fleece is going to a small country named Qatar. So this is the first time I sold to that country. So this this I had listed for less than a week. And it sold. Great flip. This is an amazing sale here. This is a, a record from the box I got from my friend. This was autographed a Creepy Lane. There was none listed on eBay with the autographs. There was only ones without the autographs going for about $10. I listed it high. I think first I asked $158, and there was a sale going on. So somebody bought this for $141 plus shipping. Um, so I'll show you the autograph. They were on the insert in the record with the black pen. Uh, I just listed it high, and I had this listed for maybe eight months, and it eventually sold. So I was happy to see the sale go through. Next year, we have a vintage video light. This was uh, purchased uh, in the box log of a video and darkroom equipment. So I maybe had a couple of dollars into this light, and it sold for $31. And this one is also going overseas to Chile. So they paid $23 to ship this. And next, so this is all my eBay sales for the last seven days. Next, I will show you the Etsy sales. I had five sales on Etsy. Uh, the first one here is just a pair of salt and pepper shakers, and these are the RCA Victor nipper dogs. So if you know RCA Victor, it's a vinyl company. Back in the day, they created vinyl, and the logo is this dog with the gramophone. Uh, so these are the salt and pepper shakers. And I had them listed for about three months, and they sold for $19 plus shipping. And I probably I bought these for a couple bucks. Next year, it's a vintage Polaroid camera. So this camera I was listed for uh, four months on Etsy. It expired, so I put it up on eBay, and I also renewed the Etsy listing. So I had it listed in both places, and it sold on Etsy. So then I ended the eBay listing, and... So this sold after four months of, of being listed online, and this sold for $29 plus shipping. And next year, you might recognize this camera from my last video I showed you from the garage sales. So this is just an example. This camera sold uh, last week. So this, is, this isn't the one I got at the garage sales, but this is the exact same model. And so this sold uh, for $42 plus shipping, and it went to Australia. So as I told you, these cameras are so quick, and so I just picked one up yesterday for 2 bucks. so I will be listing it again for 42 I'm just going to relist this listing and upload the actual photos of the camera I got yesterday. 
Next here, it's a vintage camera bag. This bag looks like a pack of film from Blacks. It's a it's a Canadian photography store. They I think closed down their locations already. Uh, this camera had some issues. There was a small rip. Oh, here we go. This is a picture here. So there was a rip here, and it was described in the description. Uh, so it was a funny story with this item. I sold this item about four months ago. Somebody bought it from Germany. I shipped it out, and they told me they never get it. They never received it. So after waiting enough time, and they still said they haven't received it, I refunded them the, the purchase. And what happened, this camera, came, this bag came back to me in the mail. And so I released it again on, on Etsy. And I messaged the person that bought it the first time to double check their address. And I have this listed again if they want to buy it again. And they bought it again. So I shipped it again to Germany. And we'll see if it gets there for the second time. So I'm interested to see if it's going to make to its destination the other time. And last year, this is also, many of you might know, the Polaroid. This is the bread and butter item. Uh, I found this one at a thrift store. Thrift stores now ask more money for these cameras than they used to. Back maybe even last year, you could get them for $5.99, $4.99, $6.99. Now I see them list go for $19.99, $9.99, 10, different prices. I think for this one I paid 12.99 with the 30% discount and this one sold for $39. Another thing about this Polaroid uh, item, I had one uh, shipped to an FBA to sell on Amazon and the price on Amazon is $99. So I sold one like that, so I might be doing that from now on cuz you can sell them on Amazon too and get more money for them. Uh, but this is bread and butter Polaroid cameras. Uh, so these are all the 36 items. Um, thank you for tuning in and watching the video. Remember, if you like the video, hit the like button. Like the video for me. Give me some support uh, to get notified and to be up to date with my videos that I post. Subscribe to my channel. I'm looking for new subscribers. Uh, new subscribers uh, motivate me to create more content um, so that's it uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day evening or night um, bye